understand you've just had your investigation published on uh, the Belarus uh, energy monopolies. Can you tell me a bit about that? Uh, before we get into that, it's important to stress one thing about uh, Belarus, which is very different from Ukraine. Uh, in Belarus, you get uh, uh, very little, if any, documents published at all. So even companies that are listed on Belarus Stock Exchange, uh, they are supposed to publish their financial statements. However, they uh, publish uh, very short versions of them of uh, profit and lot, a loss statement and the balance sheet. Uh, the atmosphere is much different from what you have in Ukraine. You basically, you cannot uh, officially, legally, you cannot get any data, you cannot get anything. You cannot get permission to go anywhere and you cannot get interviews. Uh, I'm an economics reporter, so I, well, I also have a investigative program. So I, I did a few economic stories on um, um, our uh, utilities prices going up. So I started digging into why they're going up. And uh, there was this uh, thing that uh, the, uh, the state said that, OK, um, uh, the utility prices were subsidized until now, <clears throat> but we're going to have to bring them to 100% of cost recovery because this is uh, market after all, so you know, we're going to have to face the truths of life. Mm -hmm. What I found, however, is that uh, as it was, um, uh, the prices were going up, uh, but the uh, percentage uh, in the long term, the uh, and also in our utility bills, it says the percentage which we cover by pay, and the rest is paid by the state. So that percentage in the long run uh, did not change really. It changed, it decreased when the utility prices uh, went up, and then the, there are oil price fluctuations and so on, and then you find yourself a year later with exactly with the uh, utility prices 50% uh, higher, and the percentage of uh, cost recovery pretty much the same as before. So I started getting into that and talking to sources and, uh, you know, the usual investigative stuff, you look out for competitors, of the, you ask them about each other, uh, you look out for people who got fired and who are angry, you know, and concerned citizens. And uh, they started uh, telling me a story and the picture was building up about uh, the fact what uh, was uh, very surprising to me is that in Belarus uh, a lot of uh, things are state-owned. Uh, you know, 50% of the economy is state-owned uh, companies, and it was believed that the uh, Belarus, uh, all Belarus energy system is also state-owned. I found out, however, during this investigation that half of them are private already. Mm -hmm. And uh, in spite of uh, being privatized, in spite of being private and being owned by uh, various both Belarusian and foreign businessmen, uh, uh, and also by offshore companies, uh, they still retain the monopoly st status in the Belarus energy sector. So, uh, uh, not officially. Uh, so, uh, they retain this monopoly through manipulation of tenders by the uh, officials of the uh, Ministry of Energy in Belarus. Um, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, sometimes, uh, if they can't manipulate it, uh, they just uh, give the work to them and then they don't tell uh, any other competitors who took part in the bidding process, uh, why? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so uh, basically these companies were enjoying a uh, complete uh, practical monopoly and using that monopoly to charge uh, the state uh, uh, three to four times the prices uh, that, uh, that the market uh, would charge in Belarus. Uh, so uh, uh, this was the information we got, then we started getting into documents how to prove that, so we uh, we uh, played a uh, bidding process, we pretended we were a company who wants to do that. So you don't, uh, uh, these uh, parts of energy infrastructure you also have uh, in private factories sometimes. They build their own little uh, energy infrastructure, uh, so not to be dependent uh, on the state for uh, energy and because the pr price of the energy is high. Uh, so we pretended we were one of these factors and we got like dozens of price offers. All of them were uh, three to four times lower. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we, pub uh, we published that and uh, we also found that uh, some of the companies are uh, owned by offshore companies in uh, Lithuania and Russia. And we also find, uh, found that there are links between uh, 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 management of uh, these private companies and officials in the Ministry of Energy. They're related, father and son and so on. So we published that uh, investigation and we indicated uh, that uh, uh, there might be signs of corruption there. Another thing in Belarus that uh, you uh, with uh, you can only the, the law is such that uh, and the judicial practice is that you can only say corruption if there was uh, uh, 
state prosecutor or a court convicting somebody of corruption. Otherwise, you cannot say corruption. Oh, uh, sorry, can you? So, who filed the court case against you? Uh, one of these private monopolies. Mm -hmm. uh, can you say which one? The, the Minister of Energy. It's called Bill Kotla Achistka, uh, which uh, stands for uh, Belarus. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to translate it. <laughs> uh, it's uh, uh, you know. Uh, all the electricity and heat is produced by boilers, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, they're in charge of and each of these boilers, there are like uh, thousands uh, of them around the country and each one of these boilers has to be uh, cleaned annually or biannually. And uh, <coughs> it costs like 50 to $100,000. And so uh, they clean all these uh, boilers, you know, all these power generating uh, things. <laughs> I don't know how to say it in English, the particular way. So, um, yes, so, so it, it, was one of, uh, it was one of these companies, Bilko Tlachistka, they fired a uh, court uh, case against me, saying that I said they're corrupt and they're not corrupt. And, they, uh, and they were trying to, uh, however, the court surprisingly did not just say, okay, so no, no ruling, no previous ruling on this, so you're guilty. The court uh, decided to uh, get into that and to uh, actually figure out what's going on. So there were, as I said, there were uh, like four uh, sessions where we're bringing more and more and more documents and uh, they were bringing more documents, you know, so that there was this battle going on. And uh, uh, after, uh, in between one of these sessions, I realized also that uh, apart from charging high prices, that uh, these companies also um, uh, sometimes uh, don't even do the work. Uh, that they get paid for, and uh, uh, they um, and uh, very high likelihood that they bribe the uh, Ministry of Energy officials uh, and other officials. How did I find out that? So one of the sources said that uh, when they uh, part of this work is disposing of waste. So it's uh, <clears throat> when you uh, clean one uh, uh, average size reservoir, you, you can get a hundred tons of uh, petroleum products waste, which are no more longer used. Uh, which are no use anymore for heating, so you have to dispose of them by taking them to a special, a specialized facility with uh, um, uh, put chemicals into them and go through this uh, lengthy process of uh, uh, of making them clean so they can be disposed or reused. Uh, so the, for uh, cleaning each of these reservoirs, they get like uh, uh, fifty thousand dollars to dispose of that waste, and. Uh, uh, so source told me that they don't even bother disposing of it, they dig it into the ground. And he said, so, uh, and the uh, Ministry of uh, Energy officials who overlook that power generating facilities, uh, I called them up, I asked, did, did you really, uh, is that what happened? They said no. So, and uh, it uh, uh, could not have been true as I found out later, okay, so I, uh, I get to that first. Uh, so what we did was we went to that power generating facility and the way they were getting away with it is it's close territory, nobody's allowed to go in. Uh, it's uh, covered by uh, two fences uh, with like uh, barbed wire, so uh, we uh, climbed, to, we found uh, weak spots to uh, climb through it and we, uh, and we uh, realized like the, there was this uh, huge uh, field uh, uh, behind the power generating facility and the office building overlooking it and in between that field is a huge fuel oil swamp, you know, which was, uh, according to the source, uh, and as we found out later uh, uh, through other documents, which was a hundred uh, tons of fuel just dug into the ground. Uh, and the, uh, so we, we actually literally had to run to that uh, swamp, uh, hoping that they will not see us from the window quickly, you know, dig it up, film it, and then run back, um, hoping they don't notice. We were lucky they did not notice, but uh, uh, generally, if you sit in that office the whole day, there is no way you can overlook that, right? It's mm -hmm. yellow, it's black on yellow. And and what about the ministry? The minister of energy said they were they were. Oh yes, uh, minister of energy is being uh, charged with uh, corruption. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the head of uh, the the minister. Of so he has already fact, been charged. Uh, the charge has not been. Uh, uh, there were not uh, no charges put officially yet, but he was arrested and his property was arrested. Mm -hmm. and it's still under the process of investigation. In fact, the courts, I, I don't think 
and the court started yet because it only happened like a few months ago and we're still in the process of that. Mm -hmm. And what's happening with the rest? As far as I understand, yes, these people have been charged. Some people are, um, you know, the, there's inspections happening. But you were saying that the, uh, the schemes are still taking place. So those, those practices are still very much in place. The practices are still in place. And uh, my personal belief, which I'm uh, still looking to prove or, or, or disprove, but uh, uh, is that uh, those were punished well, first of all, because it had public outcry. So uh, these uh, videos from our TV on YouTube, they had a huge amount of views and were uh, republished. Uh, so uh, the government, in fact, we have that dictator, right, uh, as a head of state. So he had to do something. So he started coming out with, uh, he himself started, uh, 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 started criticizing uh, the energy sector and TV for corruption. And uh, uh, he, announced a few of these loud cases that he said I ordered the arrest of this guy and the arrest of that guy. But uh, uh, my belief is that it's A, first of all they're like uh, sacrifice lambs, uh, the few of them, uh, of those that got charged.